Cancers, what's popping, y'all? It's your girl out of mind, the one that lets her light shine no matter who it blinds. And I'm here with you all's love messages. <laughs> you didn't see that coming, did you? No, I didn't either. <laughs> um, but that's what we're doing in 2023. Okay. Instead of the mid-monthly messages, we will be doing love messages during the mid-month um or career you know maybe we will go one month on the other month the other you feel what i'm saying i think i might like that but um it's contingent upon what you all like okay so if y'all are fucking with this then we'll stick with it so um i do want to preface for all of the signs okay that if you are in, in a healthy, happy, you know, long-term connection, this may not be for you. Um, I don't really feel as if healthy and happy related people should like tune into tarot too much unless it's your personal messages just because, you know, don't be absorbing no energy, messing up your shit okay continue to go out and be happy be healthy right um thankfully these have all been very healing so um that's that but uh let's get on into the overall energy this is really really though i say all of that to say this is for the singles or the newly connected those looking for new love Maybe you are in separation, whatever the case may be, but it'll come out. Um, so Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And love. Because you deserve, okay? That's what I'm hearing. You deserve. I deserve. The first card out is slow down and celebrate yourself. Everybody's getting these self-love ass messages. You can manifest your every wish and think first before you judge. There's something that you really desire that you really want and you can have it. Some of you may feel like um, something that you are reaching for is almost impossible to attain, but it's not at all. Say what you want, and I really think slowing down and celebrating yourself, this feast, this um, moment of going within to hear what your inner voice has to say when it comes to what it is that it, that you really want, you know, because maybe uh, as humans, we're so impressionable, <laughs> as humans, you know, monkey see, monkey do. We see one person have something and we want the same shit. We think that's what we want, but that ain't what we really want. So it's important to go within um, and as often as possible so that you can know what it is that you want for yourself, what your highest self is telling you, what your spirit is requiring from you, okay? Not what everybody else has going on. Slow down and celebrate yourself. You can manifest your every wish. Think first before you judge. You all may... Um, have a similar situation that the Aries are having. Someone coming into your life that's completely different from what you are used to, from what you normally attract, from what you normally entertain. And so you're being called to think first before you judge because some of y'all may be like, mm -mm, I'm trying to like it, but <laughs> it's just not given, but you really aren't trying for real. You're judging, okay? And your the past versions of yourself it, you know that's what's speaking to you it's like oh my god past me 
love these kind of people, you know? And so for me to move on to something different, you know, so many of us aren't comfortable with change. Um, but I would advise you affirm to yourself that you adapt easily to change and that you welcome transformation. You welcome new kinds of connections. You welcome new forms and versions of love into your life. Okay. Um, change is refreshing. When we just go doing the same things every day, thinking the way that we did last year, three years ago, five years ago, where is the elevation in that? Where is the ascension in that? That is how we build habits, by just continuing to do the same shit. Be who you've always been, doing what you've always done. So... Um, you can have this new, you know, and you can have what it is, whatever it is that you desire. Say you are wanting um, someone that um, loves you just as much as they are wanting to build, you know, a legacy with you because, you know, bonds, contracts, marriages, you know, it's a business, but you can also have love in, in that contract as well. You don't have to have one or the other. Um, as long as you know that, you know, you can have that. You can manifest your every wish. So if you are wanting someone that is, you know, fits or checks both um, boxes, but they may not, I don't know, they just may not be... Um, Okay, so I was just watching or I just saw um, this TikTok that's going viral about um, this girl said, just because <laughs> the man is a good man does not mean that he's for you. So like, you know, he could, he could love you. He could provide, you know, he could be everything that you want him to be, but maybe he's not funny. And the other girl, you know, that was that she was having dialogue with was like, yeah, and that's why a whole lot of women are single as fuck because they're worried about this nigga being funny. Although he checks every other box that there is. I'm getting that this could be. And I, I, I got from that self-sabotage. <laughs> that girl don't really love herself like for real for real because humor you can watch a fucking funny movie and laugh you know you have friends that are funny call their ass up to laugh and joke do you have a sense of humor obviously not because you're just banking on this nigga to have it all i don't know Think first before you judge. And uh, do your own work. So look at yourself in the mirror. Are these boxes that need to be checked? Is it coming from um, a, a place of value? Is it coming from a, a place that really fucking matters? Or is it... They leave toothpaste in the sink. They don't tell you good morning and good night every single day. Because some of us are hyper vigilant as fuck. We're not going to go into it. Let's move forward. <laughs> 
let's move forward let's move forward now hey if it's if if the, if they are things that are like are non-negotiables you know my man has to be hygienic he has to smell good he can't he can't you know just be a stinking ass funky ass nigga that's not small to me <laughs> No, 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 that's not small to me. Now, some things can be changed, especially if they are willing to transform, you know? And of course, we aren't making people change for us, you know? Their, their growth and transformation, that's a personal thing, you know? Um, all that we can do is suggest, all that we can do is affirm, all that we can do is support. So, you know, um, say somebody breath always stinks, okay? You can let them know, hey, like, I really like you, but your breath be on 10. Like, how can I help you figure that out? Because I'm sure that there are things about me that you would love to, you know, support me in. Let me know. Let's be honest here. That can be fixed. The nigga's just dirty? Uh-uh. Anyway, Cancer, you have your pick. Um, not only that, I feel like you have a lot of things that you're focused on right now. And when it comes to connection, I kind of feel like um, there needs to be a decision made. You need to make a decision on, okay, is what I'm saying that I truly want really what I'm showing up as receiving, you know? Am I really comfortable with receiving a long-term connection at this point? Am I really equipped to handle that? Um, am I really ready to meet someone face-to-face? -face? You know, instead of worrying about, you know, am I being the over-giver or am I being the over-receiver here? Like, can I bring to the table or or can 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 we am i ready simply put am i ready for this some of you all um are distracting yourselves from how you really feel about a connection or when it comes to connecting with others in a romantic way you want to unpack that some of you all know how much you have to unpack when it comes to relating. And so you're making a decision based off of that. Some of you are like, you know what? I'm going to seek therapy first before I um, start dating for real. You know, I'm going to, I don't know, be celibate for a while. I'm going to... Um, just focus on me and my healing before I get into this. Or, you know, these these certain things that I have to fix about myself, I can do that while in connection and relation with another. You know, maybe it's not as deep. Um, but you are definitely making a decision here. Okay, so some of you all also, it's very similar to the Geminis and the Aries. You, um, you don't like your same race or ethnicity. You like people outside of that. 
And again, you can manifest your every wish and think first before you judge. I feel like you may just have questions on, okay, will I be able to meet someone of this ethnicity or race or whatever that also empathizes with who I am and what I come from? You know, can they get along with my family? Can I get along with theirs? Um, can we like see each other? Like for real, can we understand one another? Um, do they have the range? Think first before you judge. So maybe, you know, I don't know, maybe you're judging them based on who they are as a person. And uh, you are, you have a whole lot of questions about it. You're going to have to make a decision, though, whether you are willing to give this person a try. You know, give this group a try. Give this um, stepping outside of yourself a try or not and either one is perfectly fine whatever floats your boat okay You're stepping into a new chapter, especially when it comes to the way that you look at love. When it comes to your ability to connect with others, when it comes to you saying, okay, I feel confident and comfortable in being vulnerable with another or that is what I am working towards. You're stepping into that. And that's a beautiful thing, okay? You are doing internal inventory. Uh, come, who is it? Yeah. Hey, come in. I'm on a reading. Okay, bet, bet, bet. I got you. No problem. Um... So something I feel like is, yeah, you're stepping into a completely new chapter. And again, you're saying, okay, this is what I'm working with. <laughs> you know, these are the things that I need to work on within myself. These are things that I want for myself moving forward. How does that come into play when it comes to love and connection and building something whether short term or long term with another your ideas and your views are changing some of you all again i feel like you all are going to therapy and seeking counsel and so that is allowing you to change a little bit or assisting you with this change and this growth some of you all it's like you're trying to figure out whether you should choose love or whether you should okay i feel like you're like is my person where i currently live because you some of you are contemplating what moving somewhere else and you are like is my person there? Is my person here? Some of you all are in like move, in between love and moving and traveling and where, how does this all tie in and connect and relate and go together? Think first before you judge. That's all I'm going to say. 
wherever you may want to go, that may be where your person is. But you may be thinking, nah, it ain't nobody my type out there. I'm moving to Germany. It ain't no roughneck nigga in Germany. How do you know? Niggas in the army go out there all the time. How do you know? You might, you might not even, you might move out there and not even want a roughneck nigga no more. Okay. You might want a man that can make wiener schnitzel. It's very good. I don't know, but um, <laughs> the Knight of Swords, <clears throat> the Ace of Wands, and the Magician. You can manifest your every wish. Wherever you decide to go, just know that whatever you say that I'm or who you say I am, whatever you say, that is exactly what's going to be. So if you trust yourself and you trust the universe, if you trust source that wherever you go, you are going to be just fine. The love of your life is wherever you decide to go. And if they're not, you still end up meeting the love of your life somewhere along the way. Move forward knowing that you can manifest your every wish as confidently, as passionately, and as courageously as, as, as can be, honey. You can have it all. You can have it all. You can have it all. All these old ass songs are coming up for me today. And listen, I, I feel some type of way about it because I wasn't able to find the song that I was talking about in the Gemini reading. And it, it irks my soul because that used to be my song. Oh my God. And the crazy thing about it, I know that my ex best friend would know the fucking song, but me and her ass, the one from the prom story time, scroll down, scroll, scroll down. That, that story time was like from four years ago. But yeah, we not friends no more. So man, I can't even reach out to her and ask her like, damn, what was that song from high school? <sighs> anyway. Fast messages for my cancers, please. Please. You are releasing, cleansing, um, purifying the way that you see yourself. You are stepping into a new found sense of, of confidence. You are seeing yourself in a new light. You're seeing yourself for the beauty that you really are. And so because of that, um, there are certain energies in your life that are being balanced. Now, if that does not resonate with you, there's balance coming between you and someone that you find very beautiful. The Empress energy or an empress type energy is walking away from something and that is creating a lot of stability and balance. So I don't know, the death card is at the bottom of the deck. Um, but overall, for most of you, I see you saying the beauty in something in a whole new light, which again is bringing back and restoring 
balance. So, Cancer, that's your love reading. Those are your messages. Don't forget to let your light shine no matter who it blinds. And I'll see y'all later.